Now then, you beautiful people, hope you're all doing good. Thank you for the support the last couple of weeks. It really does mean a lot. It just shows that you are liking the videos, so it encourages me to do a bit more. So before we get started, smash a like, subscribe, comment, and follow us on Instagram. Let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to replace a siphon and a fill valve on a toilet system. We need to isolate the water and siphon the water out of the system. We then need to disconnect the lever handle. We do that by undoing the grub screw and pulling out. Unfortunately, in this video, we couldn't do it with one hand. We had to put the camera down and use two hands. It was a bit stiff. But once you have got that out, you could then use a pair of pliers to undo the two nuts underneath on the flush cone and the which holds the siphon to the system. Once you've loosened them off, you can then remove the siphon from the system. At this point, we'll usually see what's faulted with the siphon. On this one, there was a couple of rips in, in the plastic sheeting underneath. You can get away with just replacing the plastic sheeting, but at this uh, on this job, we decided to replace the full siphon itself. Uh, once the new siphon's in place, we tighten the nut at the top and then the flush cone nut up. I only do the flush cone nut by hand as I don't like to over tighten it, so I don't want to ruin the washer. So then we can put our lever handle back on in place and tighten it up with the grub screw. Next up, we're going to swap the fill valve. So we can dis uh, disconnect the tap connector at the on the right hand side. This is the side entry one, so that comes off and we can then undo the back nut which is holding it in place. Once that's unlo uh, loosened off, we can then remove the fill valve from the system. Cleaning up uh, the tap connector, as it was covered in PT PTFE and a couple of washers, we put the new tap um, fill valve into place. Put the back nut on without knocking it out. Uh, we can tidy it up with a pair of grips. Always make sure you put a new washer in as it's just less hassle then. Tighten it up by hand and then just give it a little nip up with a pair of pliers. Once you're happy it is all tight and all done, we will go then reinstate the water, quickly run up back upstairs and check that we've got no leaks. Once we're happy that there's no leaks, we will flush the toilet and check that there's no leaks in the flush pipe. And jobs are good and on to the next one. Now then people, I hope you're doing good. We're going to do something a little bit different this week as we've had a bit of a repetitive week of jobs we've been doing in the last couple of weeks. So I didn't want to make it too boring for you. So I'm going to show you around my office. So welcome to the office, the van. Um, I'm not going to do like a van tour. I'm just going to show you how I do my paperwork on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I get home, I can chill out with the kids, chill out with the, uh, our lass. Um, so yeah, I can do everything on the job. And also how I file my receipts. So a little, little tip for you there when we get to it. Well, first of all, I use Trade Help. Uh, it's a free app, 100% free. Um, and I'll just quickly show you through it. If you do want me to go through it in more detail, drop a comment below and we'll do a separate video all about Trade Help. And just before anyone says, oh, this isn't a paid um, paid sponsor or anything like that. It's off my own back. I've used this for a few months now. So yeah, I'll just spin it around. Right, so here is the Trade Help app. The app for the phone and the tablet is 100% free. There is an office-based uh, app that you can pay for. Um, but yeah, that's not free. So this is the homepage, which shows you a few products in the month and bits and bobs. But we don't really go on there much. Um, at the top left-hand corner, we can get we can see our tabs here of everything we need. So we can quote, we can invoice, we've got our calendar, our toolbox, and we can see our notifications that we've that we can set. So mainly, I use it for the calendar, the invoicing, and the quoting and I also do use it for the certificates so I'll just show you the calendar from here we can book our jobs in get all the details for every customer and we can quote and invoice from straight from the calendar if we wanted to do a certificate we've got a toolbox and we've got our gas safety certificates here so we just click on there and if we want to do a new one click up the top and then let's see we'll just add it to a customer Delete it. And then here you've got you add all your details in. Add your appliance. Add a new appliance. And here we can location of boiler, everything you need to know. 
you know, your gas safety, um, your fluid gas analyzer readings in there, and any um, faults and maybe it'll work in there. Let's go back. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Um, let's see if we can view this difficult without filling anything. Yeah, so it's a blank one, obviously, but you can see your certificate and make sure everything's right before you send it off to them. So you can email that direct them direct that from the job, which is really handy to have. So we'll delete all that, go back, do do do, mind this. Um, so yeah, you can do everything basically you need for LPG, natural gas, and oil. You also got your warning notices, your power flush forms, and your cylinder commissioning. Some handy features you've also got on here are your gas piping calculator, uh, your gas rate, expansion vessel calculator, and your heat loss calculator. Really good bit kit to have. Also, you can pretty much get any uh, manual for any boiler. Uh, it's really handy to have <laughs> on a touch of a finger on your tablet. You've also got other little tools which are more for brickies and stuff like that, brick calculator, tilers, paving. Other little handy bit of tools to have. So I highly recommend the uh, Trade Help app. They also do have a buying group and they also have um, they also offer finance. So check that out because that is a really good um, thing to have. That just crashed. Never mind. Ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> on to the next bit. <laughs> right, best of you up because it's getting dark. So I've, on my tablet, I also have my gas safe uh, register. So I can register my boilers with gas safe and also my ideal and backseat app. Plus, I'm worst about for registering the boilers. <sighs> what else do we have? We've got a Viva Pro Club. Uh, we've got our AD Pro Club. <sighs> we can our points on there. So, yeah, I got all my emails. I can check everything I need from my tablet on the job. So, when I get home, I don't have to worry about work. I can just enjoy and relax. So, on to my how we start our receipts. Right, so we've got 12 folders in here where we store our receipts. We've uh, dated them all up. Uh, April, so I've got hardly any in because we, we weren't working in April due to COVID. But some of the more recent ones, October, they're all in alphabet, not alphabetical order, month order, should I say, um, to store our receipts. As soon as we get in the van, we find the folder we need, we throw our receipt in there. Um, saves them getting stored in a big carrier bag. And it gets to April and we're like, oh no, where's this receipt? Where's that receipt? They're all there, where we need them. Put them in a box file. Get yourself another tw uh, 12 folders. I think they're about two quid for a pack of 12. Grab yourself a pair, put your, put the mums on them. Put them in your glove box. Happy days, no more headaches. Hope it helps you out. Let's crack on.
Right, for all your lucky viewers that have stuck with us and are still watching the video, we have a competition and a plum chum to give away. Here's my plum chum, here's a brand new plum chum. I purchased this one and then the day after I won this one, so there's no point in me having to. I am going to give it to somebody else for one of you lucky viewers that have stuck with us. So, the plum chum. Probably the best tool I've bought this year. Um, and also won this year, shall we say. Um, I've managed to get rid of my gas meter key, my bleed key, um, a pair of grips in my pocket, and also a screwdriver in my pocket, and replacing it by just this tool. So we have got a gas meter key at the top. We have got a radiator key at, at the bottom there. We can put bits in the end for a screwdriver. So we can put our posi bits there at the top. And at the bottom, we have a flat-headed screwdriver there. We also do have one on the side for isolation balls. As so, which is handy to have in case of emergencies or, or a leak. If you've got into a job, you've got, you've got it in your pocket straight there. You've also got a 10mm spanner there. You've got a one for your isolation valves here. So for your pump, pump isolation valves, for gate valves, any valves which basically got no head on it, you can, you can get in there and get that get it turned off. You've also, you can use it at the, pri at the bottom here as a pry bar um, for your pump nuts, air nuts at the front. You've got at the top here is your drain off vent, drain off uh, keys for that. And you've also got here is for your lock shields, which should, should fit in there nicely, depending on the lock shield, obviously. Uh, one of the most impressive features that I've found in the last week or so off Instagram, I can't remember who put it up, but yeah, it's, really good tip is it can you actually use it to deburr your pipes you get your pipe into the back of the gas meter uh, key there give it a good old twist and it deburrs your pipes for you so you can see on there it gives a nice it deburrs it pretty good to be fair comes with a, comes with a little uh, link uh, clip to hook onto your trousers hook onto your keys or even your tool bag Highly recommend it. So if, if you haven't got one already, if or if you don't win the competition, go get yourself one. Go check them out. Um, I think it's on Tectile Tools. Uh, if you go and find them on Instagram, they've got links on there. I will also put the link in the description below if you do want to buy one. But well, there is one up for grabs, and all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment Plum Chum. If you do not comment Plum Chum, you will not be entered into the draw. So best of luck. To all, all of that you have kept on viewing and yeah, good luck. See you next week.